the boat. And we'll deal with the tangle later. Nice. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a nice, pretty one, isn't it? Taking all the rods? Uh, most of them. This little brawler is set up right-handed for you for white bass, so you can take that one. Put the plug in. I got the plug in. Hello, this is Matthew with Out Fishing 13, bringing you another fishing video. This morning, my fishing buddy Fred and I are going fishing on Utah Lake for catfish. And when we get started, I'll show you some of the rigs we're going to be using. Anyways, if you enjoy the video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. The channel is growing, and it's because of you that it's growing. And I know that you enjoy a lot of these videos, so make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Right now, we're launching the boat, so let me get that done. And then I'll show you what we're going to be using as we get fishing. Well, we hardly have any water. 2.3 feet of water. We have one feet of water. Yeah, I was... It was hitting the bottom, so I, I don't know. I don't think it hurt the, the prop because it was just gravel a little bit. I got three feet of water. <laughs> Look at that. I wonder if you want to leave that motor up some so we don't have what happened. This water this low last time. Yeah, I got 3.4 feet. I'm going to leave it up just, but I'll. All right. So here's what we got going today. We're not going to use our um, trolling motor to power troll, which is usually really slow, like half a mile an hour. We got a little bit of a breeze. So, but what we do have is we have the 808 and we're putting a bobber on it. And then I've got my 33 Max Black. And on this one, we just got a bottom rig. And then I got the 733 here. And what we're going to do with the 733 and this other 33 Max is I tried this out. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. But I got these big spin glows and they have enough flotation that they actually make the bait if you don't put too big of a bait on there it makes the baits so that they float a little bit plus it gets some vibration to it but last time we had an awesome hit with one of these Okay, we got a fish on. Is that that hook? There it is. Yep, good job. We were just saying, we've never been skunked. Oh, I think he shook it off. 
I think he spit it up or either he's coming towards me. No, something broke off. Oh. Yeah, he took it. Bit my line right off. Hook and everything, but my little spin glow is right over there. Let's reel in and go get the spin glow back. That is the first time I've ever had a line cut. Let's see if we can catch that spin glow. There we go. Fish on, let's see. There he is. Yeah, fish on, fish on. Well, that's a good one, Fred. We need a good one to make up for all the time we didn't get anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a strong, he's a strong one. Big carp. No. <laughs> Not a carp. It was Lee. Lee was good luck. I think he's tangled up with the with the the down the bob. No, no, that's okay. Just leave that one there. He's tangled up with the bobber one. If you want to reel in the bobber one, where's the bobber? This one? No, that's not the bobber. The bobber one's over here. Oh. He's tangled up with a couple of them. Yes, he is. Let's just get him in. Go ahead and reel that one in as much as you can. That's all I'm gonna do. That's good. Let's get him in the let's get him in the boat. And we'll deal with the tangle later. Nice. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a pretty one, isn't it? That's a good it? fish. Okay, so let me put on my glasses and we'll figure out this snag, this snaggle. So more about this reel that I'm using. It has um, the drag right here and this right here is a clicker. No, this is the anti-reverse right here. So I just discovered that that had to be down for the anti reverse to work, so the anti reverse is now working. <laughs> so, some of these old reels it's, it can be kind of tricky to figure out what's going on, but and they were trying to figure it out. Yeah, so you can hear how noisy it is, but that's just the anti reverse. But it still it doesn't seem like it wants to really work all that well. See if we can catch just some fresh bait. A couple weeks ago, one of my colleagues came over here and they caught a whole mass of white bass just off the point over here. Hmm. Yeah, I think since I've got that trolling motor set, I think I'll use that to go into the harbor if we're this close. <laughs> 